Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be adding the ability to crouch in the first person template. So by default, in the first person template, you hit control and you don't actually crouch. So we're going to be adding that. And how you do that is you need to alter the height of the capsule. So this uh, short pill looking thing is the capsule and that's what basically runs, that's what collides into uh, walls so you don't kind of clip through them. Uh, every every kind of character in the game, in the engine, has a capsule so you don't like clip through things. So it's just a collision box or a collision capsule. We need to make that a little bit shorter so we can crouch underneath things so it doesn't hit that. Pretty simple. And we need to move the camera down. So we're going to do that using uh, blueprints. The cool thing about Unreal Engine, I find, is that there's like more than one way to go about doing a thing uh, but this is just the way that uh, I do it. So we're going to go into the first person BP folder, go into blueprints and uh, go to our first person character and uh, this is going to be like basic blueprint um, things we're looking at here. So these are you know the default blueprinty things that are commented. We're going to find a neat little area down here to uh, do our stuff and uh, for the sake of explaining things I'm going to go over to our viewport drag it and then just kind of dock it over here just so we could see kind of what's going on here and I can kind of give you a visual aid of what's going on so right now we're in the construction uh, script tab we don't need to do that let's go to event graph and let's just find again a neat, layer, neat little area so um, basically they wrote it in the Bible uh, this goes back thousands of years. The rule is that control is uh, crouch. Left control is crouch. So we're going to right click and we're going to hit uh, Kitaro. So left Kitaro there goes back to antiquity. So when we press this, we want to crouch. And when we release it, we want to get up. So we need to control a bunch of things. Um, how you do it in the first person template, I find, is the camera you want to move down, right? So it, like the camera gets closer to the ground, so it looks like you're crouching, which is pretty cool. Uh, and how you do that, there's, there's like a gajillion ways to do that. Um, you could use like a get world uh, location and then kind of offset the, the, uh, uh, the Z axis, which is the up down axis. Uh, but there's a really cool kind of function here, and it's the add local offset. Add local offset to, where is it? First person camera. There it is, right there. So you add that, it already has a reference to the first person camera. So let's just kind of do this step by step here. So when you press control, left control, you want to add a location uh, offset. So it takes whatever the location is and then we'll um, add a delta location to that or take away. So I'm going to go uh, negative. Let's go negative 30. Just as a guess. Negative 30. And that will bring the camera down negative 30 on the z-axis, negative 30 um, units. We actually need to tell it what the target is. Um, so I'm going to run back here and then go to the viewport, select the camera, and there's a first person camera. I can actually drag that in and uh, uh, drag it over and release it onto the target and it'll create that reference as well. So there's two ways to go about it. It's all uh, contact sensitive. So let's compile and save and uh, see what that does. So I'm gonna hit play, and I'm gonna hit control. And what I'm doing is I'm going down 30 units. So that's cool. Well, not really, it's not really what we wanna do. We wanna have a thing where when we release it, we want to trigger another event and add a local offset and set that back. So I'm gonna select this, copy and then paste, oops, paste down here, add a local offset, I want to go plus 30 or just 30. So we take away 30 and then we add 30. We'll add the same target reference there, the uh, camera in question. And then when we're, you know, when we, when we release it, it will add 30. So check this out. What does this do? So now we are expertly 
teabagging essentially. Uh, I might want to add or give that value a bit more negative 40, negative 40. It's a very tall um, character in uh, the Unreal Engine template. So I'll just go back over here. Cool. All right, so uh, there's that. And uh, yeah, we have the illusion of crouching, but let's say we, uh, let's add a, let's add a box. Because the world needs more boxes. And I want to kind of be able to uh, crawl or crouch underneath this box. Let's see if I can just to see what's going on here. Look, I can't, I can't go underneath it. If I did my head a little bit underneath, you know, I'll be able to go through it, but I can't right now, which kind of sucks. And if I crouch, I still can't. You know why? Because that capsule is uh, doing some stuff. It's, uh, it has a collision with this. It's not allowing us to go through. So we just need to adjust the capsule size. So let's uh, select the capsule. We can select it right here. This is the capsule. And then we can you know, do all sorts of things. Uh, but let's, uh, let's drag, yeah, let's just drag the capsule in here. So this is the reference to the capsule component. And I want to drag a node off of it. And I want to set height, set capsule half height. This is pretty, pretty useful. So when I press it, I want to kind of make the capsule shorter. But we need to figure out what the capsule, the height of it is. So the half height is 96 units. Um, so it's still so the, the character is like almost two meters tall. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, add, let's go set capsule half height to 40, right? So we're really crouching, right? So when we hit control, it will bring the camera down and then immediately set capsule half height to uh, 40. So then we need to, when we, when we release it, we want to bring it back up to the default vol uh, value, which uh, whichever is uh, this right here, or whatever you want. So you want it to be like the default, right? So we'll go back to 96. There, select that, set the reference. Boom, boom. All right, cool. So now we have the ability to crouch. We can go underneath it, right? And uh, stuff like that. And that is uh, essentially the uh, basic crouching, um, my tutorial on how to crouch in Unreal Engine. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.